Hi y'all, I'm Kylie Hill. I'm the chef at Arbor. Arbor is the new American fast casual concept from the Absinthe Group. We are located at 384 Hayes Street, right here in Hayes Valley, San Francisco. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Arbor's veggie burger based on a seed and bean patty. Uh, we're gonna be cooking the, um, the patty two ways, um, in two different formats rather. Uh, one is gonna be obviously the burger on a brioche bun with some of my favorite seasonal ingredients. And then we're also gonna do it in salad form. So let's get started. All right guys, so today we are gonna be using a meat grinder. Uh, while I understand that not everyone has a meat grinder at home, um, you can use a food processor that's perfectly acceptable. So starting out today, we're gonna grind uh, the, the vegetables. So let's get going. So mushrooms. Okay, so once your veggies are ground, you're going to, we're gonna cook these out a little bit. So basically you're just trying to get out all the excess water uh, and create a little bit of flavor um, through caramelization. Um, so just sweat them out in a little bit of olive oil. And then while those are cooking, you can move on to the next step, which is grinding the beans. Don't worry if there's a little bit of veg left in. Black beans guys go in, and then our bonzos, followed by the toasted seeds. Uh, there's no need to um, put the quinoa through the grinder or food processor, or whatever you're using. They're small enough, it, it, it doesn't make a difference. So you can add the quinoa to your beans. Next up, we have a little bit of achiote, a little bit of kosher, kosher salt, and we're gonna make a slurry of potato starch and water. Let me get this out of the way. Potato starch, water. This is gonna act as a binder for the veggie patty. Um, one thing I failed to mention was this is vegan and gluten-free. Um, this slurry acts as, like I said, the binder instead of the use of an egg. Mix that up. It's a little weird. And that goes. All right, so these are the cooled, uh, cooked vegetables. So you're gonna add that to the rest of your ingredients and just fold it together. Make sure it's all incorporated nicely. If you want, use your hands. It's actually probably easier. Really get in there with your hands. All right, once you have a nice uniform mix, um, you can form your patties or the, and for our salad, we're doing little balls. So we're using a four ounce scoop, just makes it easy. So that's what you're looking for. All right, so now it's time to cook our veggie patties. So we're doing a technique called shallow pan frying. I'm using extra virgin olive oil today. It's he I have it heated to about 325, 350. Um, you're just looking for a medium high heat. So we should be ready to go. You can see a few wisps of smoke. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I put this in the fridge for about an hour, two hours to let it firm up a little bit. It just helps maintain the integrity of the shape after it's cooked or when it's cooked. So that goes into the pan very gently. Careful not to burn yourself. Leave it be for the first couple of minutes. Don't, don't feel the need to move it around too much. We went ahead and fried the little balls for the salad. So that's what the finished product looks like. 
Again, be patient. Flips it up and peek under. We're just looking for it to be nice, nice and brown. ready to go. Nice and golden brown all the way around. I have my little tray here with a little bit of paper towel to, you know, for the excess spoil. A little bit of sea salt. And now we're ready to assemble. So we have a beautiful toasted brioche bun. On one side, I'm going to do a roasted garlic tahini super important to me to get all edges of your bun or bread, whatever you happen to be assembling, if it's a sandwich, all edges. And do a little fresh guacamole on the other side. Same thing, edge to edge. market and got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes so we're gonna do those guys a couple of slices of tomato a little more sea salt patty goes down and then we're gonna finish it off with a little pickled red onion and some lettuces We'll provide recipes for everything, including the onion and the guacamole. And that, y'all, is Arbor's Veggie Burger. A little bit of protein if somebody's vegetarian, that's what they're looking for. They're super versatile, this recipe. You can use it in all sorts of things. Burger, salad, you can make a wrap out of it. You can garnish it with different things. Just be creative, guys, and enjoy.